Hi everyone up there, thanks for joining me. This is Josh at TechPodge, and today I'm going to cover another AI feature in Adobe Firefly. This is a four part series. So in the first part, I cover text to image. In the second part, I cover text effects. In the third part, I'm covering generative recolor. And in the fourth part, the next one is generative fill. So generative recolor is simply the ability to recolor an image. So let's get started now with some inspirational images. So as you can see on this page here, I've got several different images that Adobe gives you to play with. Otherwise, you can upload your own SVG. And if you don't have an SVG file, simply go to Adobe Express, go in there, click on the plus icon, and go to the second tab under Quick Action, scroll down, and you will find a tool to convert to SVG. Simply click on that, and you'll be able to change it right away. Now I'm going to go back to the interface here, and you can see I've already uploaded an image, my own image, which is a picture of some cacti in the desert. If I click to uh, add in, for example, desert colors as my prompt, I then can click generate. And now as you can see, it's generating four images. So the prompt is below, here's the SVG, and here's the prompt below for desert colors. On the right-hand side, you can see some sample prompts as well. And down further, you can see harmonies that you can choose from. So uh, it does take a minute to generate, uh, but once it does, you can see the results are pretty interesting. So I can click through any of these by simply clicking on it, and now I can use this right arrow here or the left arrow to click through them. So there's some really good examples here, uh, as you can see already. So I'm gonna to click to the next one here. So here I use pastel colors, and you can see it generated these four images. This one in particular is pretty good. Going to the next prompt, you can see I typed in retro colors, and also these are also really good. So you can see here, it's giving me some retro-like colors. If I go over here, now you can see some psychedelic colors. So this one in particular is pretty far out green. And lastly, if I go over here, you can see I typed in some moonlight colors to simulate the effects of the uh, desert at, uh, well, in the moonlight. So you can see here the rocks have kind of a moonlight glare on them. So I hope you liked this short video on uh, recoloring within Adobe Firefly. If you did, please give me a like. Please add your comments below. I would honestly love to hear from you. And uh, please let me know if you'd like me to cover anything else in uh, Adobe Recolor. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I hope you subscribe as well to see some other videos that I've produced. Thanks. Bye.